Right, so one of the most frequently asked questions um, that I guess asked when I'm out shooting and whatnot, um, and then emails and messages and all sorts of other things, is what's your favourite rifle? You've had that many good guns and you've got that many nice rifles, and I've got a fair few really nice rifles. What's your favourite? And obviously that varies a little bit. Um, I must admit it was my Steyr Pro X Scout, which is a fantastic rifle. It really is. But I've got to say that since I've had this um, Red Wolf Midnight um, with the highlight bottle on it, I find every time I go out now, or nearly every time I go out, and I open the gun cabinets, one of them, this is the rifle that invariably ends up coming out. Um, there's just something about it that appeals to me. I just really get on well with this gun. Not only is it phenomenally accurate, I mean it is stupidly accurate. Um, but it's also a stunning looking thing. And there's something about it, it just handles so well. Um, it just feels nice in the hand. That stock is a work of art. And it just, it feels nice just holding the damn thing, touching it. It's, it's just a lovely rifle. It shoots so sweet. And it's the quietest rifle I've ever had. With that A&M Custom Gunsmiths uh, Twink C silencer on the end of it, it's ridiculously quiet now i thought my ed gun um r5m matador was quiet and it was when i put that uh bat silencer on that that was a very 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 quiet air rifle and uh, oddly enough the other ed gun that I had as well the less you won um that also when i put the silencer um on that, that also was a very, very quiet rifle. I mean, very, very quiet rifle. Um, but this thing's something else. It's just, it's just unbelievably quiet. It really is. It's whisper quiet, pinpoint accurate. And I think it's just gorgeous. So at the minute, I must admit, every time I open the cabinet, uh, unless I'm making a conscious effort to take one of the other rifles out, because I think I'm not utilising it, um, it's nearly always this that gets to come out. Um, it's just amazing. It really is. It just everything about it is just spot on. The trigger is beautiful. Um, the balance with the highlight bottle, um, and I'm going to say it again. Like the first Red Wolf that I had um, with the steel cylinder. I couldn't get on with it. I didn't like the balance of it. I didn't like the way it manoeuvred. Um, I just didn't like it. But the highlight bottle has made a huge difference to this rifle. You wouldn't have thought that just changing a barrel from... Uh, just changing a cylinder from a steel one, or, well, an alloy one, to this carbon fibre would make such a massive difference to the rifle. But personally, for me anyway, it made a huge difference. This is like a different rifle. Um, ridiculous though it sounds, it actually handles like a totally different rifle um, with the uh, the carbon fibre bottle instead of the steel. And the fact that you can now turn that really annoying um, automatic cut off right down, sort of get it set up so it doesn't cut down for an hour or even, um, has made a massive difference. But I think mainly it's that bottle. The balance of this thing is unbelievable. Um, you know, even I can get supreme long range accuracy with this gun. It's really, really good. Um, as you can see, I haven't fitted it with a bipod. Um, I just shoot it freehand when I'm hunting. Um, find something to lean on, lean on a fence, lean against a tree or whatever. But even shooting kneeling down. Uh, or lying down, resting on your elbows. This thing's ridiculous. The lock time's so quick that as long as you've got your um, sights on the target when you gently squeeze that trigger, and the trigger's so light on this, it's ridiculous. Um, you're going to hit it. It's amazing. The lock time's incredibly quick. 
it, it proper is a work of art. It's a beautiful rifle. Um, and it looks stunning. The new magazines have worked faultlessly, for me anyway. Um, I've had absolutely no trouble with them. They cycle really well. Um, and the groups are superb. Um, so with them new mags, I've had no trouble. Double loading, yes. Um, when I first got it, I did double load a couple of times. And that is slightly annoying. Um, but hey, you can't have everything. Um, but other than that, what a phenomenally brilliant gun. Now, I've got a Delta Wolf, obviously, as you know, if you watch the channel. And that also is fantastic. And it shares many of this rifle's features. The Delta Wolf, again, pinpoint accurate. Um, it's not as quiet as this, even with that big Neelix silencer on. Um, pardon me, the Delta Wolf is not as quiet as this. Um, I think that this has got a really long shroud because it's got a long barrel, um, a long projection. Of, so all of this is shrouded on this, whereas on the Delta Wolf, it's probably less than half that uh, on the barrel shrouding. And then inside of that, you've also got the chrono. So the shroud is not especially effective. And even with a big silencer on it, it's still... It's a quiet rifle. It is quiet, but nowhere near as quiet as this thing. Um, this is just stupidly quiet. And the Delta Wolf is a more sort of practical gun. Um, you know, you've got instant bipod, tripod attachment. Easy. Um, tactical. It's e you know, you can put alter it to fit wherever you like. It's got rails everywhere for lasers, cameras, uh, night vision gear, mounting a scope's easy because that's another thing with this. Mounting a scope, you do need to make sure you've got clearance for the uh, the magazine. Um, on the Delta Wolf, that doesn't apply. So the Delta Wolf's probably a more practical proposition, but for some, some reason that I can't really put my finger on, um, because they're both as accurate as one another, to be fair, um, this thing's just... I don't know, it just does it for me, just like, it's just a superb air rifle. It's a perfect combination of a fantastic looking air rifle uh, and also an air rifle that shoots as good as it looks. It's super accurate, unbelievably quiet. Um, the lock time on it is spectacular. Um, the trigger is phenomenal and the stock is so beautifully ergonomic this pistol grips a joy um, raisable cheap piece i've raised i only raised it a fraction um but it's just an amazing air rifle and this has definitely become my number one every time like i say open the gun cabinet pick a gun to pick it nearly always ends up being this even subconsciously i find it's in the bag and we're away with it um Admittedly, the Delta Wolf um, is a better night shooting rifle um, because of the fact that it's easier to mount a night vision gear onto the Delta Wolf because you can put the sight on the top rail and the lamp on the side rail. And I also like to shoot off my tripod at night. Um, and the Delta Wolf is undoubtedly the better night hunting rifle. But for shooting in the daytime, this thing's staggeringly good it really is and it is an absolute thing of beauty so there you go my current favorite rifle thanks for watching